Hello, in this video we are going to see how to draw a square prism in perspective view. Let me read the plan now. A square prism 25 cross 25 base 40 m height rest on GP, GP means ground plane on one of its ends with a rectangular face residing away from PP picture plane towards right making 60 degree with picture plane. Actually a square prism that has the side of 25 mm and height of 40 mm that is resting on ground plane on one of its ends that means base. You can assume that base or top we can take base with rectangular face residing away from picture plane towards right side. So actually the square prism let me take here a square prism. So the square prism is resting on ground plane, resting on ground plane in such a way that one of the rectangular face residing 60 degree, one of the rectangular faces residing 60 degree with picture plane, picture plane means with that one is a vertical plane. So with the vertical plane, the one of the rectangular faces residing 60 degree towards right side. Okay. The corner nearest to the PP is 40 mm to the left of station point they can mention station point or viewer point viewer eye point so whatever the nearest corner this is the nearest corner right if this is a pp line this is the nearest corner the nearest corner is 40 mm left side of the station point 20 mm behind the picture plane the station point is 60 mm above ground plane and 50 mm in front of picture plane draw the perspective view of prism by visual ray method using top view and front view. There are few methods to draw perspective like a visual ray vanishing point like that but visual ray method that is more important we have in our syllabus and there are two different ways we can draw visual ray method. One is by using top view and front view and another one is using top view and side view. So in this video we can see by using top view and front view how we can solve the problem and we can draw a perspective view. So from the problem we need to note down few important data. So here what about the station point? The station point is nothing but the eye point where we are going to see the prism at where eye point view, viewers point that is a stationary point that is 60 mm above ground plane and 50 mm in front of picture plane and second thing is any one reference from the solid. So they have mentioned the nearest point. So the nearest point is a reference point. So the nearest corner is 40 mm left side of the station point and 20 mm behind the picture plane. So what we are going to do is we need to take the important data from the problem. The first one is data about the station point because we will draw the station point first. And second thing is any reference point, reference point from the solid. They have mentioned a nearest corner so we can say the nearest corner is the reference point that is 40 mm left side of the station point 20 mm behind the picture plane yeah fine and after that the resting condition how the solid is resting it is resting on ground plane on one of its base base or top one of its ends residing 60 degree right side okay this is how the solid is resting so we should clearly know how the station point is given how the reference point we can taken from the station point and also how the solid is resting. Okay, now we can try to solve the problem. So actually initially we will draw ground plane and picture plane. Ground plane will be the bottom and picture plane will be such above level. The distance between the ground plane and picture plane should be more than should be more than the summation of station point reference 60 mm above GP 50 mm in front of VP that is 60 mm above 50 mm in front of. So if it is 50 and if it is 60 the total distance between ground plane and picture plane should be more than the sum of 60 plus 50. So it should be more than 110. It may be 120, 125, 130, 140 whatever it can be but it should be more than 110. Again I am repeating the distance between picture plane and ground plane should be more than the summation of the reference distance of station point from ground plane and picture plane 60 and 50 summation will be 110 so the distance should be more than 110 mm okay this is how we can start the problem. So let me draw here first of all I draw the ground plane 
या हरिजॉन्टल लाइन आई एम ड्रॉइंग ए ग्राउंड प्लेन सो फ्रॉम ग्राउंड प्लेन ग्राउंड प्लेन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ग्राउंड प्लेन एंड पिक्चर प्लेन शुड बी मोर देन वन टेन एम एम वी हैव सीन लेट मी टेक वन टेन प्लस थर्टी एम एम सो वन फोर्टी लेट मी टेक यू कैन टेक मोर देन वन टेन वॉट अवर डिस्टेंस यू कैन डू यू कैन आई एम ड्रॉइंग द पिक्चर प्लेन हियर आई एम ड्रॉइंग द पिक्चर प्लेन दैट इज वन फोर्टी एम एम जस्ट अबव दि ग्राउंड प्लेन सो आई कैन मेन्शन लाइक दैट दिस वन इज पिक्चर प्लेन and this one is ground plane and then what about my first data the first data is about the station point 60 mm above ground plane 50 mm in front of picture plane that is that is the the first data that's what we are going to draw first yeah let me draw here so i draw a straight line on that straight vertical line the line should be perpendicular to bp and gp on that line only station point we need to draw so before marking the station point we should analyze where the diagram will be so they have mentioned the nearest corner which means the solid the reference of a solid the solid is 40 mm left side of the station point so the entire diagram will be coming left side of the station point so if we draw the station point at right side the left side all the diagram will be there so they have mentioned the reference corner is 40 mm left to the station point so the left side only the diagram will be there okay let me mark the station point station point is 60 mm above gp so 30 then 60 60 mm above gp and 50 mm in front of bp let me name it the name is uh, station point yes this one is yes dash and this one is yes okay and after that we can mention the distance here the dimension should be marked clearly whatever the dimension given in the problem the dimension should be marked the 50 mm is given so we have to mark the 50 mm first Fifty mm. This one is sixty mm. Okay. So first of all, I have marked the station point, which is fifty mm in front of picture plane and sixty mm above the ground plane. And now I need to mark the reference point. So that is forty mm left side. So this is forty mm left side. 40 mm left side of the station point i draw a line okay the reference line or the reference point which is 40 mm left side of the station point here we make mistakes so sometimes we can draw right side sometimes the station point will be left side the understanding and reading of the problem should be more accurate they have said the corner is left of the station point so we are going to draw the corner of the solid that should be left side of the station point and also there is another data that particular corner is 20 mm behind picture plane so here 20 mm behind picture plane so here is a corner here is the reference corner which is 20 mm behind picture plane which is 20 mm behind the picture plane It's clear and after that using the particular corner we are going to draw the square using the particular corner we are going to draw the square so here the side of the square is 25 mm that is we can see the resting condition here the side of the square is 25 mm that base is resting on gp residing 60 degree right side so one of the base side is 60 degree towards right side so we have to take 60 degree right side 
60 degree right side design carefully that is 60 degree they have mentioned the entire solid is receding towards right side so right side we have to take the angle and the size of the square is 25 m the size of the square is 25 m we can draw the square here we can complete the square the square should be properly having 25 mm as side and each sides are 90 degree to each other and let me name it the top view a b then c d the top surface will be named as a b c d and the bottom surface will be named as p q r s p q r s okay this is the top view this is the top view and after that i need to draw front view right so here we need to draw projector line from all the corners to the ground plane we need to draw the projector line from the all the corners to the ground plane yeah i have drawn the projector line the line should be 90 degree perfectly yeah till the ground plane i have drawn the projector lines from the top view and the height of the solid is 40 mm right so 40 mm i have to complete the solid yeah this is the top view and this will be the front view you can simply name it the bottom surface named as pqrs so this will be the point from p and we can name it p and this one is from q this one is from r this one is from s and similarly a this one is from b this one is c this one is d so we need to mark all the corners we need to mark all the corners okay after that we have to check which should be visible edges and which should be the hidden edges and if it is a top view and this is a front portion if you look at the front the point a the point b the point c are nearer so these are the visible point the point d and s are just away from you and that is behind the solid that will be invisible so we have to mark ds as hidden edge okay so what we have done is we have drawn all the projector lines from the top view to the ground plane and the solid height they have mentioned is 40 mm so for 40 mm we need to draw the projector lines and we have to connect the vertical edges we have to connect the vertical edges so among the vertical edges ap bq ds and cr which should be visible and which should be invisible so this is a front direction uh, if you are here you can see a b c ap bq cr these three edges we can see ds will be the hidden one so we have to mark ds as hidden okay now we can draw the visual rays to complete the perspective projection oh sorry sir so actually in the station point the station point near the front view will be with the dash the top view will be without dash okay sorry i made a mistake so the station point nearer to the top view should not having the dash the front view should be having the dash okay fine now what we are doing is after completing and front view and top view we have to draw rays from front view to the front view station point from all the corners from all the corners we need to draw the rays similarly we need to draw rays from all the corners to the station point of front view so top view we have completed similarly we have to draw the rays for the front view from all the corners 
for the top face and also the bottom face. So clear what I have done, I have done the top view based on the resting condition and front view based on the height of the solid and I have named it perfectly, then I have done the visual and hidden edges. Now I have completed the rays from all the corners to the station point. This one is the station point for top view, this one is the station point for front view. The front view names should be having with dash, top view name should not having any dash. Okay. And after that, we have to mark the intersecting points of rays with picture plane. This is from A comma P, this is from D comma S, this is from B comma Q and this is from C comma R. Okay. And now after marking the intersecting point, one by one I am going to draw the projector lines from the intersecting point. First I am drawing with A P. So this is a line for A comma P. So here there is a ray from A, mark the point here. And this is the ray from P, mark the point here. And this one is A and this one is P. So again listen carefully, from the intersecting point of ray with the picture plane, from A P I have drawn a projector line. And at the projector line there is an intersecting point of rays from A and P and next one D and S. The rays should be perpendicular. Next one D and S and here is the ray of D and S and the intersecting point with D and then this is the intersecting point with S. And next one from B and Q. Next one from B and Q and then intersecting point this one is from B comma Q and here is the intersecting sorry here is the intersecting point with B and here is the intersecting point with Q and next one from C and R sorry it's C and R. This one is from C and R and here is the intersecting point with C and here is the intersecting point with R. Okay, now I have marked all the points. Now we can connect the four points here. A, B, C, D we can connect. So here is A, P, B, C, C, D, and AD. I have connected the top surface and similarly BQ or QR and RS and SP will be hidden. Okay. After completing completing the entire diagram you can understand okay this is hidden or not. Okay. Now AP connect the longitudinal edges AP then BQ CR and finally DS DS will be the hidden edge okay now it is visible right so why I have drawn the hidden line here because from that perspective view these top surface and two edges of base surface three longitudinal edges will be visible remaining two base edges and one long tunnel edge ds will be the hidden edges this is how we can draw a perspective view of square prism by using the front view and top view method thank you